Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, the RPG Maitre d', answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Right now, the question I'm answering is, what's in the box for this piece of new hotness, my precious, the One Ring Starter Set? The new second edition of the One Ring role-playing game, which many, many people are claimed to be the best Middle-earth Lord of the Rings-based role-playing game ever published. Now, this is a new second edition that's now coming from Freely Publishing, and this is the starter set, the perfect place to get started with the One Ring role-playing game. One bit of disclosure, well, two, actually, one, I do have to thank Free League for sending us a copy of this to check out, but two, I have not played this game in the old iteration or the new one, though I was a huge fan of Merp, Middle Earth role-playing, back in the day from Ice. I loved Merp. So I am really looking to check out a modern take on The Lord of the Rings that I hear is fantastic and does a better job of capturing the feel of the books than many other role-playing games do. So what I'm going to do is start off by reading the back of the box for those of you who don't have the time to check it out yourself. Strange invitation from Cousin Bilbo, mentioning that he's in need of help. Most odd. But then again, a great many things about that particular hobbit have been odd ever since the business with the dragon. Nothing wrong with taking a stroll and helping Odo Bilbo, I suppose. After all, there aren't any dangers to worry about here in the Shire. So it sounds like we're set in the Shire for this adventure. The One Ring Starter Set contains all you need to take your first step into Middle-earth and experience the adventures hobbits get up to. With streamlined rules and ready-to-go characters, it's easy to quickly sit down and play the game. The One Ring is set between the time Bilbo went on his journey and the events in The Lord of the Rings, allowing you to explore the Shire by taking on the roles of some hobbits whose children will go on to do extraordinary things, such as Drogo Baggins, Rory Brandybook, and Esmeralda Took. This box set contains 24 page book, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna take a look at that. I don't need to read that off. Let's actually take a look at what's in this box. So here you go. My copy of the One Ring starter set from Free League. If it's any indication of the other One Ring stuff, there's gonna be some beautiful stuff in here. Is that actually in the lid? Okay, that's cool. The DM screen is the box. That is something I've never seen before. We have a bunch of tables literally in the, the, the box top, showing the degrees of success, die roll modifiers, die roll results, conditions, distinctive features, resting, and useful items. So I guess this is your, your DM screen? You just put this up between the players? Interesting. Never seen that before. Clear and easy to read. All right. Silicon gel pack. If you live somewhere humid, keep this. We got some cards. We got some other shaped cards. We got a catalog which is hiding another gel pack. I'm not going to bother going through the catalog, but you can find out what else Free League publishes. I personally recommend the Tales of the Loop role-playing game. Uh, we have custom dice that look like they're standard. No, there's some funky stuff on that one. So let's take a look at the dice. So we have these six dice that have an additional symbol on... Is that even a six? Yes, on the six. So we have... Fairly nice. They're, they're six-sided dice using uh, the font that's on the cover of the box. The only thing to note is that the six has a T on it for whatever reason. Um, I don't know the system this uses. If it uses the same system as like Tales from the Loop and so on, you're going to roll a bunch of these six dice pools hoping for sixes, so that fits. What I don't know is none of the other free league games I have played use D12s. So a bunch of sixes, these could obviously be used by any dice. Now these D12s though, is it just the 12 that's different? I'm gonna take a quick look. Okay, so the 12s and ones on these dice are different and I don't know which is which. Um, one has the, the Sauron lidless eye symbol and the other has a very elven rune symbol on it. There we go, so here you go. So you have that symbol on one side and then on the opposite side, so your ones and 12s, you have the lidless eye. So custom D12 dice, of which you get two. So two custom D12 dice. And 66 dice that look the same as any 66 dice, except they have a T on the six. All right, what do we have here? We have some cards. 
these look interesting. So I do know one of the big things about this role-playing game is how it handles exploration. And that looks like what this is all about. So these are all the same, but they say guide, scout, lookout, and hunter. And I think whenever you're traveling, you're gonna pick a role and you're probably turning this to one side. And then on the other side, you've got probably combat stances. So you have open, defensive, rearward, or forward. Again, I do not know this game, I have not played it. Uh, there are six of these, so probably one for each player in your party. Cool enough, I'm not gonna bother repackaging these in here. Uh, you do have cards, so one of the things Free League is known for in all of their role-playing games, this one no exception, is providing cards for equipment so you don't need to look up stuff in the book. Something I personally appreciate. I know some people don't like to use cards in their role-playing games. I love not having to look up the rules for a great shield in the middle of an encounter. So we have a bunch of equipment, great shield, shield, buckler, helm, coat of mail, mail shirts, leather shirts, etc. I admit I am disappointed. Oh, wait, wait, there it is. Okay, I was disappointed there was no artwork, but there it is on the back of the cards. I gotta say nothing fancy here. It works. Effective artwork, I think I would say. Black and white line drawings. So yeah, these are literally just so you don't have to look up what your gear does. Oh, this is nice. We've got a two-sided map. Which we are going to switch over to the other camera view so I can hold this one up. We have the Shire. A full-sized map of the Shire. As well as I think this is Eriador. So a zoomed out map of the Eriador region and a full-size map of the Shire. That I am going to be very tempted to mount on my wall. I've got to say, flatten it out and melt on my wall. Very cool. Lots of little details. Love it. Quality of this map is um, it's thicker than normal paper. I don't think you can see it, but it's slightly plasticized. Like, not enough that I would use a dry erase on it, but it's not just thin paper. Love it. Then we have our pre-generated characters, which it sounds like everyone's playing hobbits in this game, at least in this, this one. I'd, I'd say a functional character sheet. Uh, not knowing the game, it, it looks functional. It looks like you have three main pillars, you have skills, so there's going to be a skill-based system. Three main stats. Um, oh, background on the other side. I'm loving this line art. To me, that's that's very Tolkien-esque. I like that. Esmeralda Took. Yeah, loving this line art. That that is really nice. Quality here again, it's it's better than standard paper. I'll flip through these quickly. I like that there's a mix of genders here. Always appreciated. Oh, quite a few characters. Like we're still going. Oh, we got a dwarf. Balan, son of Funden. So it's not all. And I don't know who this one is. I have no idea who that is. All right, then we have the adventures. Now, I don't want to spoil anything here. Oh, hard to get out. Oh, we got quite a bit of books here. So the adventures, I'm just going to flip quickly. Oh, we have nice full color art. That's nice. Black and white line art in the inside. So some, some full color plates. I don't want to spoil any of this. Looks like multiple adventures. Is there a index here I can see? No, lead writer, diarist, and it jumps right to that. Sorry, I was trying to see, is there an index? I'm trying to see how many adventures are in here. Not sure. Um, nice paperback, nice solid cover. Again, it's, this is high quality paper. It's not your standard. Then we have the rules. Again, I'm having a hard time getting these out. So. We got more stuff in the bottom too. So we have the rules. Thin. Um, you're looking at 24 pages. That's it. Impressive. Impressive. Especially when I've seen how thick the full rule book is. Again, line art. Uh, two column. Font's a little smaller than I would have liked, but it looks all right. Lots of skills. Combat proficiencies. How to adventure. So another thing that this is, is this, in addition to being the starter set, is the Shire source book for the One Ring role-playing game. So even if you have experienced players and you already have the core box, you may want to pick this up because if you ever wanted information on the Shire, look at all that. That is an 
awful lot of information for a starter set, which is kind of awesome. This is enough to keep you gaming for years in the Shire. I love it. Look how thick that is. I am impressed by that. A full Shire source book. Lord of the Ring fans might want to pick this up just to read this Shire source book. And then again, we have, like, in the bottom of the box, we have the map of the Shire. It's very interesting to have stuff, like, literally, like, this doesn't come out. This is the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box has, has a map of the Shire, and then the top of the box has combat things. So right here, you'd have your GM screen, basically. Interesting choice. Not going to look great to the players, but very interesting choice. All right, the One Ring starter set. So there you have what you get in the box. Oh, I put cards in here. Oh, the starter set for the One Ring, uh, the new second edition of the One Ring from Free League Publishing. A uh, great looking box set that serves two purposes. One is an introduction to the One Ring system, but it is also the Shire source book, the Shire box for the One Ring role playing game. So even for people who just started right with the core rule book, you may want to pick this up because it's got a massive map of the Shire and a nice thick book detailing the area of the Shire and a ton of Hobbit um, pre-generated characters. And I did see one dwarf as well. There's adventures. All the adventures are set in the Shire. Um, based on what I read in the back of the box, it sounds like you may be playing the parents of some rather famous Hobbits. Looking forward to checking this out. This is the new One Ring starter set. In addition to the, the three different books, you also have a set of custom dice. Uh, there's some standard D6s with the 6 has a T on it, but then there's some D12s that have unique symbols on the 1 and 12. I will say it didn't look like proprietary dice, say, like from one of the Fantasy Flight um, Genesis-style system. It looks like you could use standard dice for this because noticing the 1s and 12s on a D12 shouldn't be too hard. But nice to have. They look beautiful. There are some cards. One thing I will note a complete lack of are miniatures or tokens of any kind. So this looks like it is going to be a very much theater of the mind based game, which honestly I think fits Lord of the Ring well. But if you're hoping to get some nice Hobbit tokens or standees, you're not going to find that in this box. That's it for my look at the One Ring starter set from Free League Publishing. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can head over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, to find more gaming content. We're normally here to answer your gaming game night questions. You can send your questions to me at questions at tabletopbellhop.com or there's a place to fill out a form on the website. Now we answer those questions on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which I invite you to find on your podcatcher of choice. That's it for me today. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. Good day and game on.